The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, Dean Ambrose. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. Two of WWE's absolute best preparing to square off here. And approaching the ring from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Brother. Wow, the roof nearly blew up the arena for this superstar. This guy's a stud. I don't see many losses in his future. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Remember, this is a no disqualification matchup. Which means anything goes here tonight. What's your analysis of Jake Roberts? Jake Roberts will invade the deepest, darkest places of an opponent's mind. And that's before the bell even rings. This kind of offense he's known for. Yeah, you're right about that. He's made a name for himself with this. And it's Dean Ambrose able to break free. The eccentric and calculated Dean Ambrose has created an unbelievable arsenal to punish his opponents. To those opponents, they must be aware of the neck breaker, kitchen sink knee, running drop kick, snap DDT, and his corkscrew elbow. Oh, this is going to leave scars on poor Jake the Snake Roberts. has taken control. I've heard it from countless superstars over the years, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, that this arena in Rosemont is their favorite arena to compete in. You know, Michael, you spoke earlier about the array of moves that Dean Ambrose has, and I'll add the several types of suplexes he flattens foes with. I know he hopes to punish opponents with every move, and it's important to remember that each of Ambrose's moves can and will change the course of a match. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Go oh, out here, you have to be able to think on your... Look out! Wow, that's using your imagination. Jake the Snake Roberts making his presence known. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Will it be enough for the win? Oh, that's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Nobody comes back from this. The lunatic French Dean Ambrose is so maniacal, he perfected several submission holds to cripple his adversaries. Ambrose is proficient in applying the crossface chicken wing, the bow and arrow, the Fujiwara armbar, and the figure four leg lock. Well, that gives you a peek into Dean Ambrose's psyche. If you dare want to take that trip, Ambrose loves destruction, and he loves inflicting pain on others. Winning a match or just leaving an opponent beaten and battered, it's all the same to Dean Ambrose. He's got him. Look at 
that had to hurt. With a move like that, your career could be over just like that. No kidding. This is serious. Come on, ref. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen anybody master the art of psychological warfare quite like Jake Roberts has. Well, when you walk around with a giant snake in a bag, you're going to have the mental advantage. That's just the way it is, Cole. Wow, I cannot believe Dean Ambrose got out of that one. Makes the cover. We're looking at complete domination here. Looking for the win. The arm trap cross leg STF. That'll do it. That's the longest name in the history. Arm trap cross leg STF. The way we've seen Jake Roberts slither around the ring over the years, I think it's safe to say that the snake nickname is pretty accurate. The snake with a big reversal. I think I saw a tooth fly out. Folks, we're in Rosemont tonight, a city that has hosted several WrestleManias, including this. The shoulders are down. Plenty of fight left. You're right. This guy's still near 100%. Dean Ambrose is not going to go away that easy. Just toying with the competition a little. You know, I agree that the snake nickname is pretty accurate for Roberts, Cole. But not because he slithers around the ring, but because he's so slimy. You just can't trust this guy at all. I remember one time I was wrestling Jake Roberts, and he couldn't get Damien out of the bag. You know that, Cole? I think he was suffering from reptile dysfunction. Back in the ring again. Good. Keep it in the ring, guys. Covers. And he escapes with a kick out. Cole, Dean Ambrose knows where he is in that ring at all times. Chopped down with the axe handle. Oh, man. That had to hurt, Cole. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. I think one of the things fans all over the world share in common is they don't quite know what to fully expect from Dean Ambrose. They know Ambrose is a lethal entity here in the WWE, and they know he'll make any doubters a believer in him and the Shield. Here's the cover. And it's up. He got the shoulder off. Dean Ambrose is not going to go away that easy. Toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Heads for the top rope. The way we've seen Jake Roberts slither around the ring over the years, I think it's safe to say that the snake nickname is pretty accurate. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. is simply abusing his opponent. It's that simple. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. Nicely timed shot by Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is a force within the ring. He is just getting busted up. Oh, my. Look at this. Dean Ambrose can go strong. A running knee lift is going to end it. Dean Ambrose has got this. Looks like we can notch another victory in the belt of Dean Ambrose. Two, three, three. What a win. Man, he 
He's got to feel great. You want to talk about crowd pleasing? Describe this match. You want to talk about crowd pleasing? exactly happened during this one. like that you hate to see one of them come up short but that's just the harsh reality of it and i'll tell you the roof nearly blew off this place in rosemont when the bell finally rang to end this one 